You got yourself a brand new Mitel 420 IP phone. And I hear you asking, what can I do with it? And I'm going to show you. In this short video, we're going to go over the layout of the phone, how to make and receive calls, how to use the line appearance keys to toggle back and forth between multiple calls. Uh, and then we're going to get into the advanced features like the transfer and conference. Uh, and how to access your call history and directory and voicemail. We've got a lot to cover, so let's get started. So let's have a look at the IP420 phone. What we've got here is the standard number key layout. We've got keys one through nine and star zero pound. We've got a speakerphone button and then we have the mute key. Above that we have the volume keys, volume up and down. If you don't have an active call, the volume up and down will change the volume of your ringer. So you can turn your ringer up and down as needed there. Above that, we have the transfer and conference keys. We have our directory key, call history, voicemail, and hold keys. We have the menu up and down selector. And we have the uh, actual button to select in the middle there. Uh, and then above that we have the two line appearance keys. When you have two active calls, you can toggle back and forth using these line appearance keys. Okay, so how do I make a call? We're going to start by just dialing the extension of another phone here in my office. 2803. I just wait a second and my phone will make the call automatically. So you can see I have an active call now with extension 2803. The name of that extension is actually training 485. And that call has been going for 14, 15 seconds. The duration is always going to be there in the corner. And while I have this call active, I can put it on hold. And you can see while it's on hold, my line appearance key is going to be flashing. Also, every 30 seconds or so while that call is on hold, my phone is going to beep at me to uh, remind me that I have a call on hold. If I want to go back to it, I'll just push the line appearance key and then I'll be back on that call. Um, if I want to mute, I'm going to hit the mute key. Important to note that the mute key is going to glow red when you're muted. If that's not red, you're not muted. You hit it again to unmute. To hang up the call, you can either press the speakerphone button or Lift the handset up, hang it up there. Answering a call is just as simple. You'll see when I'm getting a call, on the screen, I will see the name of the person who's calling me and their extension. Now to answer that call, I can do a number of things. I can either hit the line appearance key and then I'll pick up the call on my default audio path. I can hit the speaker or the headset key It'll answer on those audio paths, or I can hit the pound key and send that caller right to voicemail. So I can pick up that call and I have a call connected. And you'll see while I have the call connected, I have a little timer showing the duration of the call right there in the bottom right. It tells me who I am connected to. So what we see when we have an incoming call is our screen lights up with caller ID and the extension of the person who's calling us. We can pick up that call and now we have one active call we can see on our line appearance keys. If we get another call coming in, we see our second line appearance key light up and we see the caller ID of the person who's calling us. We can hit the, call, the line appearance key and now we're on a call with my training 485 or extension 2803. If I want to go back to my original call, I can hit the flashing line appearance key and I'm back on with extension 2802. I can flop back and forth as many times as I like and when I'm done with one I hang up and I can pick up my other one. Alright so looking at some of the advanced features on the phone uh, we have the history key. Hit the history key and you can see the phone is keeping track of my inbound, outbound, and missed calls. And this phone is actually going to list my last 1,000 calls in or out in this history screen. If I want to uh, 
return one of these missed calls. I just scroll down until the call that I'm looking for is highlighted. I can hit that center button to uh, complete that call. I can pick it up, hit speakerphone. Whenever the number that I'm looking for is highlighted, I can pick up the handset, or I can hit speaker or headset, uh, and I will uh, place the call to that extension. Looking at the uh, directory key, I hit the directory key and I can see a directory of all of the extensions that appear in my system. Again, I only have two lines on the screen, so I only see two entries at a time. So as long as I want to, I can hit the up and down arrows and I can scroll around to find the uh, extension that I'm looking for. Uh, if I want to narrow it down a little bit, I have a little shortcut. I can start typing my first name is Ryan, so if I hit 7 for R, I hit 9 for Y, and 2 for A, and 6 for N, you can see I've spelled out my name. I can go down to my name there, and I can place that call. Okay, now we're going to transfer a call. I'm going to start up a call to my training phone. Okay, I have one active call with extension 2803. I have another phone here in my lab that happens to be extension 2802. I'm going to transfer this call to 2802 and if I just do nothing it's going to go ahead and transfer that call off. I can hang up and then I have this call on my other phone here. Just like that. Conferencing works kind of the same way. Um, we'll say I have a call going from extension 2803 and I have this call active. I want to go ahead and conference in extension 2802 I'm going to do conference 2802 and then you can see that I have another call up to my uh, extension 2802. I can hit the complete conference and the screen will read out I'm in a conference with two parties. So the last feature that we're going to take a look at is going to be voicemail. Uh, fundamentally I have a key on the phone that links me directly to the voicemail system. I hit that, it's going to ask me for my password. Welcome to the MyTel communication system. Please enter your password followed by pound. My voicemail password is 54321 pound. You have no unheard messages. I don't have many messages. To listen to your messages, press I'm going to go ahead and hang up. If I'm going to log into somebody else's mailbox, let's say extension 2803, I'm going to hit the voicemail key. When I hear that tone, I'm going to hit the pound key, and then I can put in the extension of the mailbox that I want to log into. That password is also 54321 pound. And I'm logged into that mailbox. Training 485. And I can go ahead and hang up. As I mentioned earlier, here are the links to the reference guides for your new phone. I hope you found this video informative. If you have any other questions on this or any other topic related to your new phone system, please visit PacketFusion.com. We regularly post instructional and how-to videos, and you can sign up for our regular webinars or contact us for any other needs you may have. I'm Ryan with Packet Fusion, and I'd like to thank you for watching.